Welcome. You're listening to the I'm Wired to Inspire podcast, creatively engineered by Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist. I'm Wired to Inspire is a powerfully packed podcast filled with inspiration and encouragement to get you through your day. It's designed to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. Now, stay tuned for your host, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist on today's episode of I'm Wired to Inspire. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my podcast. I'm so excited about today's topic. It's actually a topic for today and tomorrow. And today's and tomorrow's episode is called, episodes, excuse me, are called Open Close. And it's a two-parter. Today, part one, I'm going to talk about what open close means with your enemies. And part two tomorrow is going to be talking about new beginnings. So I'm going to jump right in. Over the summer, I did a, um, I think I did a live and I talked about how I had heard this multiple times and I forgot who I was listening to, but they confirmed what I've been hearing uh, for a while when I was praying and God was talking about enemies. I've been hearing a lot about vindication and justice and, and, and enemies and all types of vindication and, and a recompense all through 2018. I have literally been seeing that everywhere. And I personally have been getting those confirmations as well in my own prayer time. Now, what I always find so amazing about taking that quiet time out and giving it to the Lord and not being distracted is that you will literally get downloads from heaven. And I I feel so bad for people who just want to run around so much that you cannot sit down by yourself and do nothing for five minutes. My heart goes out to you if that's you. I want you to try to make a practice of just starting with five minutes. Start with one minute if you have to. Because you don't realize the wealth of wisdom that you get just from the heavenly downloads and talking to the Lord. It is so imperative that you feed your spirit, your mind, your body, your soul, because God could tell you so much stuff and it would just completely change your life. So what, what really, really got me excited was I was already getting these same types of downloads when I was in my private prayer time. So I ended up hearing this confirmation from someone else and I ended up doing a live about it. So this is what this is about today. So open, close. Basically, this is how the word went. It was simply this. God will close the mouth of your enemies while he's simultaneously opening doors for you. This is the God we serve here. And the reason why I wanted to do this in two short parts, is not long, but I wanted you guys to understand the severity of how God protects you and looks out for you. He is not going to let your foot slip for all of the L's you've taken For all of the things that people have done to you to cause you hurt and pain. For all of the lies told on you. For all of the people who said you're too old and you're not uh, good enough. For all of the people who say you're too young to know how to do do this and that. For all of the people who just absolutely have no idea who you really are. And some of them have made it their life's work in past seasons or maybe even this season. To go above and beyond to show you that you're not good enough to them. Who doesn't matter. Sidebar. But... To those of you who have had that experience and you are literally feeling like, my God, I really do not understand why this has to be my portion. Why did this person do this to me? Why is it that they're saying all these things about me, but they're still popping and everything is still going well for them? And listen, believe it or not, even those of us who are very strong, we may not look at other people. We may not be competitive, but you cannot tell me. That it may not have crossed your mind. And maybe it has not. So I'm not going to say it did and it has not. But I know for most people who are willing to admit it. At some time in your life. Even if it was for a split second. You may have said. It's happening for everybody else. But it's not happening for me. What's up? And why does it seem like the person who hates on me. Or the person that I have consistently helped. Or the person that I've been down for. Why don't they value and appreciate me? Why don't they show me love the way I show them love? Or why is it that they are now hating on me? What is that about God? I don't understand. Why is that happening? Well, this is what's happening now. God wants you to know this. 
When he shuts their mouth and he closes their mouth, he will swing open the door for you. Now, let me tell you how amazing this is. All of the time they've been running their mouth, they've been wide open. Their mouth's been wide open dragging for you, talking about how you're not this, how you're not that. I literally was just in a situation yesterday and um, this person just, they made a little sly remark about clothing or, or something like that. I, I forgot how they, well, no, I didn't forget how they phrased it. I'm just not going to be specific about what it was. But I knew what they were getting at when they said it. And we were with a group of people. And so I just kind of thought, I was like, you know what? Why are you being ugly? You know, like, you just, what is the point? Like, you got to find a way even to be slick and run your mouth to be a hater. Like, all you're doing is showing everybody here that you are an enemy to that person. Like, why? Like, it, you don't even have to remark on this topic because you already know it's kind of a, uh, the elephant in the room, but you want to make it a thing. You want to you wanna still just kind of say your opinion, and it's ugly. It's not helping anybody. It's only because you think you're the one who popping. You're the one who's the best this, and you, you have the best shape, and you have the best this. It's like, it just, it just, it, it completely puzzles me sometimes. When people feel it necessary just to be ugly and just constantly open their mouth because they have to prove that they're this person and that person and all you're doing is being nasty to people. Well, you see in little situations like that, it's confirmation because all it did was let me know was that, excuse me, I think I said that wrong, but all it did was let me know that God is going to do exactly what he said he was going to do, but he's adding a little special treat for those of us who have taken those L's. And I was in there take, watching other people take L's, and I'm sitting there like, Lord, I need to figure out how to get out of this situation or to pray through this situation because unless you lead me to say something, and I might say something on my own and I might come out my face. And I know I'm not perfect. That's why I'm on the level I'm, at, I'm on now, and that's just me being transparent. I can't go to certain levels yet because I would be there prematurely. You know what I'm saying? So, and I actually, I'm actually going to do a podcast on that. In fact, it'll be Friday and it's called prematurely. And I want to make sure that I want you to make sure that you listen to Friday's episode because prematurely talks about, um, what happens again, when you, you land somewhere prematurely and you don't know what to do in that situation. So definitely, um, come and check that out on Friday. But anyway, one of the things that I was really concerned about was I said, you know, God, you know, when people do cause you pain and when people do things that are against you especially your enemies which is who we're talking about today you know it's a painful process to go through when you're like oh my god i just can't believe they did this like why did they find it necessary to do this and see what i just mentioned a second ago was something small but i told you all of you who have had those big instances where people really did not treat you the way you deserved, and you have really struggled with those feelings and those emotions let me tell you this when god steps in because he is going to step in for you he is going to open a door not only will he open the door he will swing open a door for you and while he does that he will close their mouths and guess what? They won't be able to hate. They won't be able to say anything. They won't be able to call anybody. They won't be able to do anything. You know what's the only thing they'll be able to do? Huh. Watch. That's going to be it. That's going to be it. They won't be able to do anything but watch. That's it. So... I just want to make it very plain to you and I want to make it very clear to you that God is going to open up that door for you. The very one, the one that's been opening their mouth about you and running their mouth about you saying that would never open for you. When he swings open that door for you, he's going to shut their mouth and they're going to have to sit there and watch. So you be encouraged. You hold on. And while they're over there spewing ugliness and saying stupid things and trying to be mean and backbiting and awful concerning you, you try your hardest not to retaliate. I know that's not easy. That's very easy to say, but it's not easy to put into action. I want you to remember who you are and whose you are. This is also a note to myself. You have to keep your eye on the prize. You cannot get sidetracked. You have to remember what it is that God is telling you to do because if you do not, you don't want to be so busy looking at them, running their mouth about you, that God will open that door for you and you'll miss your entry. Don't miss your entry looking at them. 
Let God shut their mouth. Let God close their mouth and let him swing open that door for you. I'm Wired to Inspire. I hope you are too. Thanks for listening to I'm Wired to Inspire podcast at imwiredtoinspire.com. If you enjoyed the show, spread the word and be sure to hit the five-star rating on iTunes. For more information on this podcast and inspirational products and services, log on to imwiredtoinspire.com. And remember to live your authentic purpose. Thanks again and see you next time.